yeah, there's different types of change. There's some change that hits you out of nowhere. And you've got no choice but to either fold or mold to it. So fold or mold is really the only two options for, you know, dealing with change. And some change is intentional, you know, where you've made a conscious decision to do something new, um, to adapt a new habit, and it doesn't make it any more easier. Um, it just gives it purpose. So... You know, depending on what the change is, just trying to figure out, like, actually, why is this happening might not even help you. <clears throat> what can I do right now is what could help you. Um, you know, first, acknowledging and bring to the forefront, what is the change that's happening? How is it affecting me? And what can I do next because there's some parts of change that is going to happen anyway technology is completely different we have no um, we have no say in that so adaptation is what we took to right um, we learn new programs every day we learn new language every day um, some of us choose not to and then like we're left out of the fold or we don't go in our career or you know you're lost with certain things um with change comes choice so are you choosing to make the best of it and how because of course there's like tough things that happen that are our changes um illnesses um, any type of grievance, those aren't easy changes, um, those aren't within our control, but what can we learn from it, um, what can we hold dear about it, um, with being sick, learning that a lot of this shit is just not important, um, was my lesson with being sick or learning that a lot of the shit people say is just words <laughs> was my other lesson um, and that a lot of the fears mean nothing if you think about the type of pain you can endure not that we want to endure it but when you look at the strength that has come from going through certain things that you sure would have killed you and you on that other end, um, watching people who were your world abandon you and you still hear there is a certain, um, amount of grace that you learn to give yourself um there's a certain amount of credit you learn to give yourself and that doesn't make any bit of the change easy that doesn't mean that you're not like shit you know um you're not like really this um it's just that you move through it even if you gotta do one thing to deal with it a day do that one thing that's what I've been trying to do just that one thing and maybe the next day you could do more than one and just keep moving and keep pushing you deal with the change by seeing it for what it is taking that benefit, making inventory of what matters to you, what are you learning. And with changes, you also need a support system. People who acknowledge and try to understand. Because a lot of people will say they're behind you. 
but they're not really hearing you or they're not really seeing things for what they really are they see their own world and their own world only and even if all that crumbles down and you end up having nobody you got you you gonna always have you So yeah, changes suck sometimes. Sometimes they're great. They could be something like a promotion, um, marriage. Um, they could be awful, like a separation, um, a new environment that happened out of nowhere that you wasn't expecting. Either way, you know, change comes whether you want it or not. So take that deep breath, look at the facts, acknowledge your feelings, and come up with a way to tackle it. Hope that helps. Peace.